guys, so today I am in the middle of packing for a 12 day trip. I want to pack as minimalistically as possible, but I also have to pack for three different occasions that this trip is, this trip is basically three trips in one. They're just back to back, so we're connecting them. And I wanted to keep myself accountable, so I thought a video was the only way to do it because normally when I pack, I'm a little bit, I do overpack, but I also feel like I'm a little bit of a chaotic packer. Like not everything needs to be in the suitcase. Some things get left behind, nothing goes together. Like it isn't a very streamlined suitcase at the end. I get to the trip and I open it up and like who knows what's in it, even though I've spent like a whole day doing it. So I want to really take my time. And that's why I thought if you film it, maybe you'll be a little bit like better at actually making your goals. So there's three different types of environments that I need to pack for. The first one is I'm going to New York City to shoot some videos with Brides Magazine for my wedding. So for that, they want like little dresses or little um, skirt outfits, like cute, you know, on camera appropriate outfits. Next, we're going to upstate New York to visit Alex's family for a few days. So for that, I need to be a little bit more casual. It's a small town. We're going to be hanging out at the house, like outfits that are more like lounge appropriate because that's essentially what we're going to be doing. And then lastly, we're going to Barbados for a test drive your honeymoon thing. It's two nights and so not very long, but I mean, it's still like a totally different environment weather wise and clothing wise and what you need there versus the other places. So I want to do all of this. I wanted to pack in a carry on, but there's like no way because that's even a lot of shoe options. Like every shoe it would be different for the three places. So I'm just going to pack in a small suitcase, but I want to pack as little as possible while still having outfits for all of the days. 12 day trip. That's absolutely insane. Wish me luck. And I'm going to bring you guys with me. Here are what my travel bags look like all packed up. I'm gonna show you exactly how I packed my suitcase and every single thing in it for this kind of complicated trip. I didn't show you guys what was in my carry-on bag or my purse because as you can see, this video is already incredibly long. But if you guys would like to see that, I definitely can shoot one for you guys. I can maybe even shoot it while I'm on the trip. So just let me know, give this video a thumbs up and if we get to like 5,000 thumbs ups, then I will shoot it for you guys because I will know that you guys actually really want to see it. The suitcase that I'm using is by the brand Bricks. Although it's really pretty, I don't really recommend it because it was really expensive and it's also a very heavy suitcase, like on its own empty, it's probably three times heavier than a lot of the lightweight luggages and I think that makes a big difference when you're going on longer trips. You want those extra pounds to pack more stuff. So the suitcase is heavy, it also didn't last very long. Um, after its very first trip, it started to get very stained and scuffed. And as you can see, the leather on the corners are coming undone really badly. And that happened after one trip and it's just gotten progressively worse the longer I've used it. Definitely a splurge. And it just hasn't really like lasted the way I wanted it to. But it is really pretty, so I'm using it because I have it. I'm going to start by showing you guys all of the clothing that I'm taking. I am going to be having four travel days, three on an airplane, one on a train, two days in the Bahamas, five days in Manhattan, three of those are shooting days or an event that require a specific dress, and a couple of days in upstate New York kind of relaxing at Alex's parents' house. So there's a lot of different things that are happening all on this trip. We're going to a lot of different places back to back. I did try to make my wardrobe have a little bit of a cohesive feel to it so you'll notice a lot of blacks, blues, whites, and reds with just a couple of fun colors thrown down on the end which I will show you. I did check the weather in New York. It is supposed to be high 60s, low 70s. So for me, I'm pretty hot natured so I don't need a jacket. I just need like a little sweater that I can throw on if I get cold and the Bahamas will obviously be hot. First up, we have jackets and sweaters. I have an oversized express boyfriend blazer. This really goes with anything. It's dressy and I could also wear it with jeans. Next, I have a sweater from Lily Pulitzer. It's very light. I can wear it over anything in this wardrobe. It's really good for the Bahamas as well because it's very light, very summery looking. I also have a chambray top from Madewell. This is one of my favorite clothing pieces. I can tie this around my waist. I could throw it on if I get cold or if we're at a restaurant and I get kind of cold. And again, I feel like it really goes with everything inside of this wardrobe. Next is this long sleeve shirt from Tea by Alexander Wang. 
and I love this because I can wear this with like ripped boyfriend jeans and make it look really, really casual and kind of thrown together. Or you can dress it up with black leggings and some heels. And I just think that it's one of those kind of transitional pieces. So I just got a new one. I had one before and this one's brand new. It still has its tag on it, which is really exciting. I actually have a couple of tops from Express that are in the same boat. They have their tags on it, but that's only because honestly, I think these are like my favorite shirts that exist. They are my basics. I own probably five of the black ones and this was just a fresh one and I got really excited so I wanted to take it. But they are the V-neck rolled sleeved tops from Express and I just think they go with everything. So I have one in black, I have one in red, kind of wrinkly, and I have one in white. Next, I have this dress from Express. This is also new, and it's kind of a fit and flare. It does have sleeves, so it's a little bit warmer, and um, it's a high-low also. Like, the back is a little bit longer. It's very twirly. I just think this is really cute. If Alex and I go see a Broadway show, or I can wear it for one of my shoot days, it looks super unflattering on the hanger. I'm looking at it, and I'm like, oh my gosh, but I tried it on, and it's really pretty, so I don't know what to tell you. Next, I have this dress from Joe Fresh. It is a black fit and flare knitted. Um, I'm going to wear this for one of the shooting days in New York. Then we have this black Madewell jumpsuit. These are kind of hard to see just because of the lighting, but this is a tank top and you know, it goes down into like a jumpsuit. It's super comfortable. I am already thinking that I will probably wear this on the train ride or on the plane, on one of the plane rides or maybe both because it's super, super, super comfortable. Next, I have an express high low dress. Next, we have this Kate Spade dress. This style is also a fit and flare. That tends to be a little bit of an overworn figure for me, but um, I don't know, I just like it. It's like my comfort style, so kill me. What are you gonna do? This, I've never worn. This is a jumpsuit that I'm going to wear in the Bahamas. I actually bought this last year, and as you can see, it still has its tag on it, which is very sad. I don't know why I didn't wear it last year, but I don't know, I pulled it out of my closet. I've been doing a lot of closet clean outs and I thought that is so cute. That like screams resort to me. So I'm going to wear that one of the days in the Bahamas. Then we have this maxi dress, which I love. Oh my gosh, it's like all like tied up. Anyway, um, I love this and I can wear it in New York. I can wear it traveling. It's very, very comfortable for traveling and it's like a nice fabric that doesn't wrinkle very easily. So it's a good traveling dress. Then we have this Ted Baker Fit and Flare, which I'm going to wear to my event, which is one of the first days that we're in New York and they wanted like a bright poppy solid color. So here we go, hot pink. Then we have my bottoms, which we have this little like casual linen army green shorts from Joie. We have some slim fit boyfriend jeans from Madewell. We have destroyed real boyfriend jeans from Abercrombie. And then we have some skinny jeans. This is from a brand that I actually don't know. I don't recognize it. I got it in my Stitch Fix box, which is something that I've been trying and I might review it after I get a couple of them. I just kinda wanna see what it's like. My suitcase is empty and we are going to start filling it. So the first thing that I've done is I have put all of my dresses, my nicer dresses. So the pink one, the red, white, and blue one. Uh, what else is in here? The solid black, the solid red, and then my black blazer are all in this. I get these little bags from Ikea. They come in packs of three. There's one long dress one and two shorter shirt ones. So that is what this is, and I'm just going to kind of tuck the corners and really fit it in there. So I've like rolled it up, as you can see. Next, we have these little guys, also from Ikea. I promise I'm not being sponsored by Ikea. I feel like that will come up. Um, these little bags come in packs as well. They come in packs of, I think, five, and there's a few different kinds. This one's one of the double-sided ones. So I have bras and socks on one side and underwear on the other side. i put this down in this corner, which I just realized you guys cannot see everything. Let's see. Woo, that's a little bit better. I have this one, which is just a single-sided one, and in this one, I have rolled up my shorts, my skinny jeans, my straight cut jeans, and a pair of pajama shorts. My boyfriend jeans are going to be worn on the plane, so they are not in here. I like to compartmentalize all of my stuff, not just to kind of like save space, but also just because I like to be super organized when I get to my location. It just makes me feel like 
I put this work in and then I get there and it's like I'm truly on vacation because all of my stuff is just very pretty and very organized and separated. So next I have this one, which is another one that comes in the set. It just has one zip down the middle. And in this one, I have all of my PJs. I do have, a, well, it's not just PJs. It's also like tank tops and undershirts. I get these tank tops at Forever 21. I'm obsessed with them, especially the black one. They're just the spaghetti strap ones. I think they're like $1.99 maybe. And I have eight of them. I have a nude one, a white one, um, one more pair of PJ shorts. So I actually was good about not taking too many bottoms. And then a couple of PJ t-shirts. That goes right on top of that. Next, I have another double-sided one. And on this side, I have all of my bikinis and cover-ups for Barbados. We're only gonna be there for two days, but we are gonna be shooting some things for Brides Magazine. So I wanted to have an assortment without like going overboard, depending on what mood I'm in that day. So I have this top. I have this top. These are new from Victoria's Secret this year. And then I have this one, which is from last year, but it's like my favorite bikini of all time. I have Instagram pictures of myself in it. And then um, three bottoms, a black, an orange, and a turquoise that can kind of go with all of them. And then I have a sarong. This is new from Victoria's Secret this year. It's in like a little pouch. And I have one cover-up romper. On the other side, we have all of my maxi dresses, my black one, my uh, silky kind of one here, my jumpsuit, and then this one's my black jumpsuit. So my two maxis and my two jumpsuits are on this side. You guys, I just changed my mind. I'm actually gonna wear my black jumpsuit on the plane tomorrow, so I'm going to replace that with my boyfriend jean. Put that back. So the last one that we have are the rest of the sweaters and tops. This is my last one of this, and it is a single one. We have my white Lily Pulitzer sweater. I'm not going to do the chambray top because I'm gonna wear it on the plane. We have my three express silk tops, red, black, and white. We have my white Lily sweater, and we have my Alexander Wang, T by Alexander Wang sweater. So that is all for clothes. Now let's move on to accessories next. So we're just gonna zip this up and we're going to find a spot for it. And I'm thinking, let me actually do this this way. Yeah, I think that's probably best. Yes, my accessories have been kept to a minimum in my opinion. Because all of the clothes that I packed kind of go together, all of my accessories can be used for everything. I have one necklace from Madewell I have these shoes that are from Madewell. They are kind of casual, so I can wear them with jeans, but I can also, you know, they are a little bit dressier than wearing like flip-flops or sneakers. I have these black sandals by Sam Elderman. These are not as fancy as I used to go. They're not stilettos, but that's because I can't wear stilettos anymore because of my back. So these have a short heel, which make them easy to wear, but they're a little bit dressed up because they are gold. So these are gonna be worn with my like nicer dresses. Then we have my white Converse, which I'm gonna wear on the plane. I have a Panama hat that I can wear really with anything. One pair of flip-flops, these ones are from Target. These are to wear around the hotel or at the beach by the pool. And then for my purse, we have my Celine Trio bag. I think this bag is the perfect travel bag because it's really small, but it has three compartments that you can kind of compartmentalize your most important things and you can wear it crossbody. So she's my little favorite thing and probably my favorite thing that I'm packing for this trip. I'm leaving the things out that I'm going to wear on the plane and I am packing up the rest of it. So I have my black jumpsuit, my chambray made well top, my Converse's, my Panama hat, and my Celine Trio bag. I put all of my shoes in individual dust bags. These ones are my flip flops and I'm just gonna kind of find spots in the suitcase. I'm putting it flat against the side. And then my necklace I put in a little pouch of its own. So I'm going to roll this up and just kind of stick it in between layers. And then I have my two heels. Also in dust bags, these are probably going to fit on the other side of my suitcase. So the other side is going to have all of my toiletries, makeup stuff, hair stuff, shower stuff, and those shoes. So let's move on to that side. This side of the suitcase has this zip around that I like to put my toiletries in because my toiletries tend to be a little bit more, like there's more random little pouches and stuff. So I just think it keeps it a lot nicer to have this part zipped up. So let's get started. First of all, I'm gonna go ahead and slip my shoes down here so that we know that that much room is being taken up already. Not very much room in the scheme of things. 
And also my hair tools. I'm taking my blow dryer, my curling iron, and my flat iron, which also doubles as a way for me to like quickly iron my clothes. So um, most people probably don't take all three hair tools, but you know what? My life is just better when I can manage my hair, in my opinion. So I just wanted to. Moving on to shower items. You guys might think I'm crazy because I'm taking some very big full-size items if it's because I've tried to find comparable items in the past and I've been disappointed and I'd rather just have my comfort items, you know what I mean? So I have three of the Garnier Fructis Sleek and Shine Fortifying Shampoos. I've used these before, I like them, they're for frizzy, dry, unmanageable hair, which is what I have. I figured as I use these, I could just throw the little containers away. Three might be totally overdoing it, I'm sure that I could get away with just two, but I'd rather have too much shampoo than not enough. It's one of those things I just don't like the ones the hotels have. Next, I have a little baby shaving cream. This is the Skintimate little travel size one. And I have two disposable razors. These are the Venus Embrace Sensitive. I don't know if I've ever tried these before, but they have a touch of aloe vera. And um, I probably could get away with one, but I always like having an extra razor because I've gone on a trip before where I had like a deformed blade and I didn't know till I opened it and used it and cut my leg which is like the weirdest story ever but basically I always like to have a backup disposable razor. I'm taking the Olay Ultra Moisture with Shea Butter Hydrating Body Wash. Then I have my conditioner which I always like to use the Macadamia Oil Nourishing Moisture Mask. I have literally used this four years. It is the only thing that I like to use as my conditioner. I've tried other things and I cannot find anything that I like as much. But this container is not nearly big enough for me, like not at all. So you guys can make fun of me if you want, but I'm taking my big daddy. It's like my thing. It's like my one thing. Like give me this. I'm also taking my full size of my summer's eve. This is something that I could have decanted, but I actually don't have any like containers I could have decanted it into at this time. So whole thing's going. And lastly, I have two more full size products. I have my Unite Purple Shampoo. Again, could have decanted it, but I don't have anything to use for that right now. And my Neoxin Scalp Conditioner. So the things that I could do in travel size, I did. The things that I couldn't or could decant but don't have any containers to decant it into, I'm just taking a full size. If I was like really itching for space or if I was trying to go in a carry-on and I had to do it in small sizes, then I would have gone out to Target and gotten containers to decant in but it is one o'clock in the morning and that does not sound fun. So I'm just gonna take them full size and that's okay. I've just used Ziploc bags and I always double bag them. I have them in individual bags and then I put them inside of another bag in case it leaks. I can throw the gross one away and still have like an exterior one to use. I don't know, I just like doing it that way. And I do reuse these actually um, trip after trip, like the ones that don't get leaky and gross, I put in this bin and I end up reusing them. So yay. My first toiletry bag is my old Glitzy Glam one. Inside, I'm going to have some Q-tips, some cotton pads, a baby travel size lint roller because I do have a lot of black with me. I have a hairbrush, bobby pins. I have a little baggie here which has my face cream, face wipes, face wash, and deodorant. Then we have another little bag that has travel size hairsprays, which again, I can just toss as I use it up. Some dry shampoo, a little detangling spray, and an oil. And then I have one little like under eye mask that I'm going to use one night as a little treat. I also have my toothbrush, which is a Sonicare, and I have two brush heads and a baby toothpaste. Alex is actually bringing a much larger toothpaste and I have this little one, so I thought I'm just gonna pack it just in case, I don't know. You always need toothpaste, I guess. So zip that up and we're gonna put it right down there. We're just gonna stick these razors kind of underneath it because there's space. Lastly, we are going to work on my makeup bag. I love this little bag. It was a wedding gift from Mary Kay and I love it. It has my initials on it, although F is soon gonna be a G and then my initials will proudly be EFG. A, B, C, D, EFG. There I am. I'm taking my Kat Von D Lock It Tattoo Foundation, my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer, my Clarins Instant Concealer, my Laura Mercier Radiance Foundation Primer, Laura Mercier Silk Cream Foundation, Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Powder, my Lorac Pro Contour Palette, which is going to have my contour colors, my under eye 
uh, setting powder and my highlight in one. I'm taking Nars Sin as my blush, my Naked 2 Basics palette, my L'Oreal Intense Liquid Eyeliner, MAC Eyeshadow in Sable, Estee Lauder Sumptuous Extreme Lash Volume Mascara, Tom Ford Cream Eyeshadow in Sphinx, MAC Feline Eye Coal, MAC Whirl Lip Liner, Bite Beauty Lipstick in Meringue, Marc Jacobs Lip Gloss in Moonstone, MAC Eyeliner in Nothing On, MAC Arab Style Perfume Roller Ball, Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist, Duo Lash Glue, Anastasia Brow Wiz, and MAC Lipstick in Naked Bliss. So we're gonna zip that up. And there we go, I think that's everything. I'm all packed up and ready to go. I could literally walk out the door right now, but we don't have to leave for a couple of hours, so go me for getting it done ahead of time. As I said, if you guys wanna see what is in my carry-on bag, as well as my purse, just give this video a thumbs up, and if we get to a 5,000, I will shoot it. Also, I'm going to be doing some vlogs on my second channel and some live Snapchatting of this trip, so follow me on those two places if you want to be included, and I will see you guys with my next video. 